my name is Brad Mortimer, and I'm going to be giving you a lesson on the John Mayer finger picking technique, which he uses in Stop This Train, which I just played for you. Uh, he also uses it in The Heart of Life. And most recently, he uses it in Who Says. So for this tutorial, I'm not going to be teaching you all the chord progressions for the songs. You can go online, they have great tabs that I used. Uh, but for this tutorial, all I'm going to be teaching you is the finger picking technique that you're going to be using with your right hand. Uh, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to, we're going to hold, actually it's the second chord in Stop This Train. Um, you're going to use your middle finger on the G string, 7th fret along with your ring finger on the high E string, 7th fret. So those last, those last four strings should be 0, 7, 0, 7. And it should sound like this. And once you have that, you're ready to go on to learn how to do the finger picking technique. The main trick to this tri uh, picking technique is the slap slash strum combination. Uh, so what he does is he slaps with his thumb while at the same time he hits a he hits a string with the nail of his pointer finger. So if you hold that chord that I just taught you, if you slap and at the same time pick hit the uh, B string with the nail of your pointer, it should sound like this. You hear that? You hear, um, you hear the hit and the and the string ring out. Now I would sit there and practice that over and over again because until you learn that, you really can't move on with this, this uh, technique. So hold the chord that I just taught you and pause this video and practice that. Now that you've practiced that uh, slap slash strum technique, you're going to add it to the song and I'm going to teach you um, basically the picking uh, progression. So holding that chord that I told you, the very first thing we're going to do is going to be almost like a pinch with these two. Uh, the D string, which is open, and the high E string, which you should be holding on the seventh fret. So you're going to pinch them together. And it should make a sound like that. That's how you start off the song. And then you add in that slat slash uh, strum technique that you just practiced. So you go. And you just practice that until you get it. After you get that, you add the next one, which is a, um, an up pick with your middle finger uh, on the high E string, which you should be holding on, set, on the seventh fret. So it'd be. So now you got three things going now that you add. Practice that until you get it. Once you get it good, add the next one, which is going to be an up pick. On, uh, on the G string, which you should be holding on the 7th fret, like that. Uh, so you go. So you got four things going right now. And then once again, you add in that slap slash strum technique. He uses that a lot in his songs to, uh, you know, make the song song flow better. So you got your four things that I just taught you. And then you do the slap again. So you should have this all together. Practice that until you get it. And after you get that, it's that over and over again to the chord progression. So I would say look on the tabs, get the chords where you're supposed to hold, and uh, practice that technique over and over again. And basically you just repeat that. And uh, eventually it would sound like this.
So there you have it. Uh, now you officially just learned the John Mayer finger picking technique uh, used in Stop This Train and many other of his songs. Uh, and he'll probably continue to use that in the future. Uh, so it'll come in handy when trying to learn new songs. Uh, so good luck uh, and I hope you enjoyed.